Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how to make a tattoo appointment is also like kind of create a tattoo um, just because I feel like these kind of go like hand in hand with things. So um, the first thing with the process of getting a tattoo and making an appointment is obviously thinking of the idea. This is a good thing to have before you even start contacting a tattoo artist just because their job is to tattoo. It's not to sit here and like ponder with you and like create this idea that you have in your head but not really and that can be really frustrating for a tattoo artist so it is very important to figure out just like one idea not like several things you know what I mean so like when I was creating this tattoo for example it is a girl on the moon I wanted something big on my forearm and I was really inspired by the song shine on you crazy diamond so one night I was literally just like laying in bed in the dark listening to the live The Pulse Pink Floyd album and I really resonated with the lyrics that were you reach for the secret too soon you cry for the moon shine on your crazy diamond and obviously I love the whole song I love Pink Floyd and yes I could get like the fucking the triangle on the light to like tattoo but that's like not something I want like I want my tattoos to be like interpreted in my own sort of meaning so the lyrics that set of lyrics was something really meaningful to me and I envisioned like the that part of the lyrics was you look for the secret too soon you cry to the moon so with that sort of like lyric I like imagined like a girl looking up at the moon and crying because I don't know it's kind of I guess kind of is literal but it is important to just have like if you're inspired by a song make sure it's like a chunk of the song or like a few lyrics it's not like the whole song and like this fucking movie that you want to like recreate on your sleeve unless you're gonna be doing like a whole ass piece that's something you don't want to be doing so once I figured out that idea I went to Pinterest personally I like to go on Pinterest for like creating my tattoo ideas just because I can have everything very organized in one space because I find on my phone if I like screenshot pictures and make albums like I'll forget about that and then it's like a whole clusterfuck and I'm like scrolling trying to find stuff so that is why I always go with Pinterest. I'm going to screen record so you guys can see what I'm doing right now. So on my Pinterest I have a lot of things. Um, so I have a big thing of tattoos that you can see. Um, just the ideas, things I like as well as um, when I do find like a certain idea that I'm going for, like for this example, um, I want to get a back piece. So I'm starting a folder of a tiger and a black panther to kind of go along. Or um, eventually I want to get my hand tattooed with an eyeball. So I kind of have that going on right now as well as um, some gap fillers. You know, just nice to ha always have some ideas. But if you go all the way to the bottom, I have my archived boards and there I have um, so these were inspirations for my chest tattoo. Um, you can kind of see how that went along. Um, there was an inspiration, or of course here's the You Cry for the Moon tattoo that I was talking about earlier. So I was really inspired by the classic um, American traditional like moon and woman. So I was able to find a few things that I really really liked and because I have everything kind of saved in one place, this is also beneficial for the tattoo artist just because you can have this in one spot and you can link it to the tattoo artist instead of like sending them like fucking 17 pictures over Instagram DMs and they have to go back and they have to like figure out who you are and blah 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 blah. It's nice just to have this like direct link to give to them so they can figure out what to make for you as well as like see your envision so it's not because like when you just like text something or like type it in email it's kind of hard to like actually envision what someone else is envisioning just because you guys can maybe have a different style you prefer one thing over the other so it's really important just to have like that going on because it's easy to refer back when the tattoo artist is eventually like drawing your tattoo so once you finally have an idea that's set in stone like that you really want to work with and you have the inspiration that is when I would start finding a tattoo artist to contact um, with the idea make sure it's not like a huge fucking thing like if your grandma died and you love Harry Potter like you're not gonna be doing like a pocket watch and a Harry Potter triangle and a crow and then like 
wings I don't know that's just like too much for one piece so make sure it's simple make sure it's like readable make sure it's like can be interpreted by the tattoo artist and so the next hardest thing is to figure out a tattoo artist um when I started getting tattooed I kind of was more in like the punkier alt scene of my hometown so it was really easy to kind of find local tattoo artists because um, I had a few friends that went to Bob, which is mainly who I get tattooed by and now. So, as well as just like internet friends that, I, that like live in my town that have tattoos. So I was able to find Bob, which was really cool because a lot of the people I do hang out with or used to hang out with have American traditional tattoos. So it's easy to find that link up. But if you do not have friends that have tattoos and it's something that you want to start venturing, I always, always, always fucking recommend Instagram because not only can you find tattoo artists in your area, you can also find tattoo artists like literally all around the world, which also makes it fun to travel, but for, for some reason I keep finding tattoo artists in Australia, which is hard for me because I'm never going to go there or anytime soon. But So you can obviously search by location on Instagram, um, so type in your city. Um, and then you can kind of go look through Instagram and see like what's going on, what people, what studios people are going to, what artists are posting frequently on Instagram. You could also just like go on your maps on your phone, just type in like um, tattoo artists near me and you can go, once they like pop up on your maps on your phone, sometimes it'll um, obviously like the like the map information will come up and then you'll have like the Facebook information. You can usually click on that. If a tattoo artist is like up to date with their shit, like they'll be posting on social media, maybe Facebook. Some tattoo parlors actually still have websites, but those don't get updated as often just because like, who's gonna be like going to format a website every time someone makes a tattoo. Like they make tattoos like probably five times a day. So I would definitely say Instagram is the best place to check. Um, ask your friends, dude. If you follow someone that's like in your hometown or in the state, be like, and you like their tattoos, be like, hey, who the fuck did that? It's dope. I love it. Most of the time, people will just comment back the at. Like, it's not some FBI secret about where you're getting your tattoo. Like, it's dope. I've recommended so many people to go to Bob, and so many people have, which is dope because then I'm like building this network of like Bob tattooers, which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, so definitely find a tattoo artist in your area that you love or if you're traveling, um, find them on Facebook, find them on Instagram, do your searching, um, get in contact with people in your area that have tattoos that you like. Um, personally, I don't really like too many shops down by me, so I am always willing to travel. I usually go up to Chicago for the most part. It's only like a two hour drive. I don't mind driving. and. I'm from like more northern area, so I always have friends and family to stay with if the day goes pretty long. Now you have your idea, and now you have your artist. And now it is time to figure out what the fuck this artist likes. A lot of the time in the bio of like Instagrams or Facebook, they'll be like, no fucking DMs. Or they'll be like, please send me an email. Or they'll be like, DMs are okay. Um, so. Of course, follow what they like because if you're like DMing someone and they never check their DMs for tattoos, obviously you're never going to be tattooed by them. If they say, hey, send me an email, then just fucking send an email. It's not that hard. Like these people are doing a service for you, so you need to figure out what works best for them so you can get the service that you want and just have a very like good relationship with each other. So once you figure out sort of what sort of contacting way or style that the tattoo artist likes, you will start getting in contact with them. When first getting in contact with the tattoo artist, I will say, hey, my name is Angelica. I'm looking to get a tattoo from you. I really like your work. You're super dope. Um, I saw on Instagram or Facebook that you like to have email or DM, so I thought I would hit you up here. Um, this is what I'm looking forward to. This is what I'm looking to get tattooed. Um, I'll usually do a short blurb of what I'm thinking or um, I will attach that Pinterest thing and be like, are you interested? Is this something you'd want to do? And usually they'll hit you back with a yes or a no and there you go from there. It's really important to send them the idea just because you can't just be like sending them like, hey, when are you free? Because 
First of all, they might not like your idea. Um, they might not like that style. Make sure you find a tattoo artist that is in the style. Don't be like ta contacting someone that like does Japanese tattoos and you want like a black work, you know what I mean? So make sure you're finding a tattoo artist in the same style that you like. It's so fucking annoying to be like receiving emails about tattoos that you don't want to do. So make sure this artist obviously likes the same things as you, posts similar things of what you like to do or have on your body, which is just, I feel like it should be common sense, but some people don't really see things. So after you've been emailing back and forth, they, he likes the idea, he'll think about drawing something up, um, pick sh make sure that you are available certain days. Be like, I'm available every weekend, please tell me when you have the next available opening. Obviously they'll contact you back with that information. And a lot of the time people do like deposits and um, a lot of the time people will take that to via PayPal, which is very nice. So make sure you get in contact and stay up to date with that information about where you can do a deposit. Maybe if you're closer, you can drop that off in cash and sign up off on some paperwork. So after that, let's see, fast forward a month or two, um, you're getting the tattoo. Always, 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 always be at least 15 minutes late your appointment. Um, I am like, paranoid and anxious so I will leave literally like three hours before my tattoo appointment so usually I'll get there uh, maybe an hour early sometimes I don't know I'm like a fucking freak like my anxiety is through the roof so um I always make sure I have good parking um I get really anxious before I get a tattoo so I always like to have something to eat make sure I'm like very full and hydrated at Bob's parlor I there is a Starbucks in the corner so when it's hot, I like to go get a passion fruit, iced tea, Splenda, Little Ice. I'll sip that and eat a cake pop and kind of just like chill in the area, maybe walk down a few shops and just kind of relax, like get myself in the mindset of getting tattooed and kind of like relax. So um, just head to the shop, be like, um, hey, I'm here for blah, my appointment's at blah. And if they're not there, then you just have to like wait and they'll eventually just come out with your sketch. Most of the tattoo artists I go to, they usually have the sketch done before I come, which is really nice because it is so fucking annoying just waiting there for like seven hours while they're like sketching out. But I know that's how people roll, so. Um, but yeah, then you get tattooed and then you fucking give them a tip because, hey, they still have to pay taxes and they just did a service for you. like. Um, I at least always like to do 20% and you need to take that in consideration when you are like thinking of a huge tattoo. So if you're going to like go get a back piece and it's going to cost like two grand, you need to make sure that you have that 20%, at least 20%. I will even offer like if I'm going to Starbucks before, I will ask Bob like if he wants something to drink, like if he wants like fucking sandwich or something just because it's kind like it's nice it's courteous like you guys are gonna be together for a period of time and it's always nice just to like have that relationship built with you guys if they ask you beforehand they start tattooing like what colors do you want does this look okay like this piece is getting put on your body for the rest of your life and this is what they're doing for you so even though they're like tattooing you this is your idea and it's being put on your body. So don't be afraid to be like, I don't like how that leaf looks. I want my colors to be red and purple for my roses at my chest. Like that's something that you need to be vocal about. And if you don't give a rat's ass, then be like, hey, I literally don't give a fuck, do whatever you want. Which tattoo artists love, but they hate it when you say, I don't care what you do and you actually care. So be honest with your tattoo artist. Be vocal, be, have your opinion, but don't be like saying too many things because at the end of the day, the tattoo artist does know what is best. I feel like a lot of the things I'm saying now are like contradicting each other, but like once you start getting like tattooed a lot, um, you start to understand where I'm coming from. After you get your tattoo, stay in contact with your tattoo artist if you have any questions about healing. If you loved how that process went, make another appointment with them, build a relationship. It is super, super fucking dope just to have a tattoo artist that is willing to work with you and all of your ideas. So make sure you stay in contact with them, build a good relationship.
So now we're just gonna summarize everything. Figure out an idea, make sure it's not too crazy, make sure it's fucking simple and someone else can understand it. Second thing, find a tattoo artist that is in the same style of the tattoo that you want. If you are willing to travel, travel. If you don't like anyone in your area, then that sucks and deal with it. So you have to travel. If you find someone in your area you like, hit them up, walk to the shop, contacting the tattoo artist, email, DMs, texting, I don't know. Figure out what works best for them and follow those and make sure those boundaries are followed. Four, sending them your ideas, figuring out if they like it, scheduling in the appointment, and five, the fucking appointment. Get there early, be kind, be nice, tip. That's all folks, now go get tattooed.